If you're watching this, this is the extended uncut version, so thank you. Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker, and today we are taking a look at Astro Candy Sugar Pop. Yeah. <laughs> The thumbnail looked good. I believe this is a comeback. I've never listened to them before, so I'm excited to see what all of this is about. As always, I read the lyrics, but I did not listen to the song quite yet. I like all of the neon. It's like, it's like they built something inside of a studio. They, they definitely built something inside of a studio. Yeah, so they're just inside of a studio over here and they built this building. There's like this real 80s Miami vibe going on. I don't know if anyone ever played like, I don't know if you guys have ever played Grand Theft Auto, but this is like Vice City vibes. All of the little palm trees, all the little tiny palm trees. They're all purple, all the neon signs. His jacket against the blue building. Oh, this is gonna be one of those videos. Very good, very good. First word of the song is candy. The first word of the title of the song is candy. So <laughs> we have all these like floating candies everywhere. A couple of donuts. It probably says candy sugar pop right there, a little chocolate bar. I like it. I actually want to figure out how to do this now that I have my new computer, because I could actually do stuff like this. So subscribe for that. <laughs> oh, it looks so good just kind of floating there. Wow, that looks amazing too. That's a lot of water. So the water, this pool is probably fake. So it probably starts either at these bricks right here or this wall. All of this wall is kind of dark. So they probably built this specific wall right there. And then all of this is just either a green screen or one of those LED walls. And then all of this is either a green screen or one of those LED walls. It is so beautiful though. Like the colors are so vibrant. It looks amazing. Some pretzels, some candy and a donut. Wow, it's so beautiful. Yes, there's a nice little camera move. Okay, okay, so they are really, they're really going for it. There's a lot of effects in this video, which I absolutely love. His jacket says Valentino. I don't know if that's a brand, but there's all of these heart arrow, but there's all of these heart arrows and like Valentine's Day, Cupid. That's where I would think that's going, especially with all of these roses over here on the ground everywhere. A couple of like random daisies? Are those daisies? I think so, right? But they're doing the exact same thing that they did with all of the candy and, but they're doing the exact same thing here with all these arrows that they did with the candy a couple of shots before. I just like the color scheme. Like everything is kind of monochromatic you know, like the, the arrows, the trees, the flowers, they're all within like that red purple range. And the camera just flies through. It actually flew through him. Wow. Very beautiful. I like it a lot. Yes. All of the colors, the wardrobe, everything has this like nice retro vibe. Ooh. I like the monochromatic with all of the pink everywhere. That's cool. That's like taking it to another level. So this lollipop is a 3D object. 
And I'd imagine that they just added a light inside of the object, inside of the, the software. Same thing that they did with this candy in the background. So right when he touches it, it just glows. It looks amazing. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Nice little cloning effect going on, but most of that isn't there, but I wonder if some of that cotton candy is there. Is he just standing on a green screen right now, or is any of this cotton candy real? I don't know, they did a good job, because it doesn't really look like it's a cloud. We see the clouds in the background, and there's just so much, like, thinner. Like, this cotton candy looks a lot more dense. Huh. I do really like the colors there. Wow. They're going crazy with the effects in this video. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, okay. So right there. You have to add stuff on top of your effects to just kind of blend everything together. Stuff like this light, stuff like this light flare right here. So the sun is making it bloom. So the sun is adding this nice like bloominess as it would. If you point the camera directly to the sun or a light source, it's gonna bloom your lens or your footage. It's gonna bloom. The light around him is a little strange. So I would think they did this one on a green screen. I do absolutely love that they made all of that inside of a studio though. Like they built that building, they added some sand. Like that looks amazing. I love the vibe that they're going for. And it looks so good. All of the lighting on them is perfect. Yes, the colors are so vibrant. Ooh! That was the thumbnail. That's what I was expecting this whole time. Those diamonds? What are those? This is crazy. So they're obviously sitting in a car. There's not a lot of green here, aside from this cactus, and we're seeing a little bit of green underneath the car. So maybe this car is just on a green screen itself. Um, he's also wearing green, but then the car is blue, so it probably wouldn't be on a blue screen. The effects are just crazy. Like, going through this tunnel right here... <clears throat> The tunnel acts as leading lines, like it draws our attention down like the horizon. So because this bridge has these two lines, we are drawn right here. All of these rings add like that sense of movement. So it looks like they're actually moving down this bridge instead of just sitting there. Oh, beautiful. His eyes looked amazing. <coughs> oh, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to get sick, Mochi. They're a little sparkly. <laughs> but they added these bounces in his eyes to like add more life and definition. That's what these little circles are. The eyes are super important. They're so, so important. Adding just these little bounces adds so much life to the scene. To so your actor, just to the eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Do they have practicals going on? I think so. It's like as those like bridges come by, they had some flashing lights. This video is so bright. <laughs> They definitely do have lights flashing on them as they go through those arches. Wow. That was... That was something. That was a lot. Alright, so for all of my Patreon people, let's take one more look at this. Let's see what we see. Okay, it's nice and warm. So he is wearing a brown jacket, which is warmer. Everything else is cool. So we have that nice contrast between the cool tones and the warm tones. I meant to say something about that transition, that like wiping transition. It's very like old. <laughs> it's a nice camera movement. He's covering his heart. Maybe he doesn't want to get shot? I like the jewelry and stuff on their face. Beautiful. It's a nice little transition. And then they keep that continuity because he had a sucker in his mouth too. And they focus on the sucker again. It looks like they're having so much fun. Ooh, there was some blooming there too. That was a random transition of the phone's cord. I'm trying to read his shirt. I don't know what it says. I thought it was a Marlboro shirt, but it's definitely not. They added, they made his hair move, they added a fan. That's a nice touch, because he's supposed to be outside. <laughs> they look so, like, amazed. <laughs> yeah, this, this video is kind of crazy. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this video. I want to give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Caroline, Jemmy, Jessica, Julia, Kimberly, Lisa, Lucas, Melissa, Masaju, Sabrina, and Victoria. If you're not already subscribed, join the crew, hit that subscribe button, and alright, alright.